Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna to be building a super simple URL shortener using Firebase hosting. If you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing and let's get right into it. So let's have a quick look at what we're building first. Um, so I've just bought a domain name, which is rdn.im. So that's hopefully kind of short and easy to, to remember. That's just my name shortened, Duan. And the idea behind this is you can add whatever paths you want, you configure them, and they will just redirect to whatever link you, you set it up to. So simple as that. I've put in YouTube and it's going to take me to um, my YouTube channel. So of course, this is hopefully a nice clean way to, to share different links. And one additional thing is it also supports uh, pattern matching. So I've got this set up to, to match my GitHub. And then anything I put in here is just going to try look for a uh, project with that name. So in fact, if I put in QWERTY, it's not going to find one because I don't have that. Um, but if I do something along the lines of uh, YouTube tutorials, which I do have, it's going to take me there. So yeah, the great thing about this is it takes you know five, 10 minutes to, to set up. Um, it's super easy to update and yeah, it's a nice little tool to have. Uh, so let's get started. So the first step is to head over to the Firebase console. We're just going to create a new project. So um, if you want to learn a bit more about Firebase, I'll leave a link in the description below slash somewhere on the screen. I've done a, a couple of tutorials on that. In this case, we're going to set up the project and we're going to leave it with all the default configuration. We're not going to do anything here. So I'm just going to do a Firebase shortener uh, tutorial. I'll leave that to, um, to set up for a few seconds. Great. Now that that's set up, uh, I'm going to go over to GitHub and I'm just going to create a new repository for this project as well. So new repository. I'm just going to give it the same name here again. Um, we'll come back to this uh, in a moment. Cool. All right, let's move this to the side. And I've got a project here. This is, um, I've just called this Firebase short Shortener Tutorial. This is just a brand new directory. It's got nothing in it yet. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the terminal and um, we're just gonna initialize an NPM project. So NPM init Y. So this is gonna be an NPM project and we're gonna add one dev dependency. So install dev dependency, and that's gonna be the Firebase tools. So now that that's run, I'm just gonna do NPX Firebase in it and when it comes up with the options like I said we're just going to select we're going to go down and press space for the hosting that's the only one we want to configure hit enter and we're going to select um, use an existing project and we're going to pick the project that we just created in this case uh, the Firebase shortener tutorial and I'm going to leave the defaults for absolutely everything else so public directory that's fine um, don't it's not a single page app so we can ignore that the automatic build and deploy um, We'll come back to this actually in a, in a moment. So I'm going to leave it as no for now. You can do yes and we'll, we'll manually configure it. Um, and that's it. So that's what we need to do here. I'm going to close that and there we go. So you'll see a few new files added here, including the public directory, which has an index and uh, 404 HTML pages, and then the, the kind of the standard Firebase JSON files, etc. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go into package JSON and we're going to update the scripts. Um, and this is just going to help us run run the project locally so we can kind of debug. And we just run it by running um, Firebase serve. And we're going to specify the port here as well, port 3000. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run npm start. Um, so usually you can do that in the command line. I've just got this configuration set up here. Uh, oops. There we go. And I can just hit npm start. And we're just going to make sure that that's basically all working fine. So it should be able to head over to localhost 3000. I'll just give that a second. And it's got this kind of default index HTML page. That's absolutely fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into index HTML. We're basically gonna, in this case, I'm just gonna remove everything. Um, you can have whatever you want in here for, for the most part, nobody's gonna see anything because hopefully it's gonna, it's gonna redirect before it reaches here at all. Um, so what we'll do is we'll add loading just in case yeah, it shows that that's working. And as for the 404 page, um, I'm going to leave this here for now with the, the default 404 message, but this can definitely come in handy uh, and we'll find out a bit more about that later on. Cool. So now that we've got everything working locally, um, we can basically add our redirects. Uh, and we do this by heading over to the Firebase JSON file. So this is basically all the configuration for the Firebase project. And in this case, you can see that we're just using Firebase hosting. And all we need to do is just add a new um, entry here called redirect. Simple as that. This just takes in a list of objects and the objects have three properties. So it's gonna be source, uh, I think it's destination, and the final one is the type. Cool, so the type is basically, I think it's basically a choice between 301 or 302 uh, HTTP codes. The source here is basically the, the source path. So let's try out YouTube in this case. And I'm just gonna pop in my YouTube uh, channel in the destination. There we go. And I think that should be it. So I'm going to hit a refresh over here 
I'm going to see if it works without restarting. I think that's fine. No, it doesn't. So I'm going to just restart this. Um, and I think that should solve that. So let's just uh, head back over to Locals 3000 to make sure that's working. And then slash YouTube. There we go. Exactly. So I think you need to restart anytime you add a redirect um, if you're doing that locally, which is absolutely fine. And that's basically how, how simple that is. Um, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to add one more redirect just to show you the, the pattern matching. Um, and that's it in terms of local development. And then we'll basically publish everything and set up the, the pipeline to do that all automatically for us. Cool. So I'm just going to duplicate this guy. And instead of YouTube, I'm going to do GitHub. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add our kind of placeholder. Um, so in this case, uh, placeholder project. And it can just be basically anything after that, I think. So I think the star just means I match anything after that. And then what we can do for the destination, I can just I'll come over here, copy and paste this guy. Um, and this is basically what it looks like. So it goes over to, over to my um, GitHub repository, and then we can just use this syntax with the semicolon to, to reuse the, um, the path variable there. Cool. So I'm just going to leave that in. And um, yeah, let's basically try publish this and see see how that all works. So I'm just going to open up the terminal, and I'm just going to run an npx Firebase um, deploy. And that should be it. So because we've set this up as the Firebase project, um, it should just know how to, to deploy it. And that should be it. So let's just give that a few seconds. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, expand this a bit. Let's head over to our Firebase instance and um, over to hosting. And yeah, you can see there that I've just um, deployed a version of this. And by default, it's going to give you a couple of domains. So in this case, we'll just open up this one here. So uh, if I open up that one, anyone can go and visit that. That's all we can find. It's got the loading page. And if I do slash YouTube, perfect. There we go. So we've got a URL shortener straight away. Uh, that's working perfectly. Now, of course, this, um, this URL is not ideal. Uh, this is a bit longer than what we'd want. So um, what you would do in theory or what I've done in my other project is I've gone in and added a custom domain. So you can buy a custom domain from different places. Um, we won't quite go into that in the scope of this video, but this basically is a, a little wizard that walks you exactly walks you through exactly how, how to do all that. So let's just stick with this for now. And the final step here is to set up the GitHub repository and have the pipeline basically um, uh, redeploy this anytime you make a, a change. So Let's do that just now. So what I want to do is I'm going to jump in here, get in it. So I'm going to initialize the, the Git repository. I'm going to just add the initial commit. Oops. So let's just do uh, initialize repository with yeah Firebase shortener. And oops, I've got to add everything. So let's add everything and initialize the repository. And what we can do is we just copy this command. So Git, GitHub's got all the instructions for you there. So Git remote add origin. So we're adding the, um, the remote. And in this case, I can just do a git push hyphen u. Um, I think my branch is called master. So origin master, there we go. So that's pushed everything up to GitHub. So that's obviously fine. We can refresh this if you see that, but we don't have the, the pipeline in place. Um, and this is basically where we're gonna add the GitHub workflows. Um, and basically GitHub workflows is, is their CI CD pipeline that can allow you to, to do automated build steps when you when you publish things. Um, and the great thing about this is Firebase is completely integrated with all this. So they should in theory take care of everything for us. So let's give that a go. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run npx Firebase init, uh, and this time hosting, and we're gonna do GitHub. So this command is equivalent to if we had um, selected yes and the options all the way the, at the start. Um, I just wanted to separate it out just so we can kind of see explicitly what it's doing here. So I'm going to hit enter there. And basically what it's doing is um, it's going to add um, workflows to our GitHub repository. It's going to reach into GitHub and actually add uh, any kind of keys that are necessary to, to hook into Firebase, etc. So this is basically what it's doing. So what it's asking for here is basically the, the repository. So I'm going to go over to the repository, which is just um, Erdman Nassif Firebase Shortener Tutorial. So hit enter there. Oh, that's not quite worked. Let's try this again. Firebase Shortener Tutorial. I didn't like the copy and paste, I don't think. Um, there we go. So it's asking me if it wants to run some sort of build script. I don't have a build script here, so I'm just going to keep no. Um, automatic went PR. Yeah, if you want, I'm not going to be raising MRs. Um, 
or sorry, pull request. I'm just gonna be uh, pushing directly to master. Yeah, that's the master name and that's it. So now that that's done, what you'll see here is a new directory in your repository called um, .github. And within that workflows and then within that a couple of YAML files. Uh, one is for merges and one is for pull requests. And these basically extend um, Firebase's own jobs. And this is basically gonna do the deployment for you just like magic. Um, and yeah, so when you publish this, GitHub's gonna pick this up, this directory. It recognizes that this is directly where you keep these workflows. It recognizes that these workflows are gonna run um, based off of uh, the, the YAML configuration here. And it's also gonna work nicely. So what we're gonna do, close a few of those. Um, I'm gonna add another commit message. So let's just add a commit, um, add workflows. And I'm just gonna push this up, um, origin master. And hopefully, that's going to run the, the pipeline. So we'll double check that the pipeline is running. And if so, we'll do one final thing, which is add a new route and make sure that it all goes through fine. And you can see this, this dot here straight away, uh, showing that there's a new commit. Um, and also, it's also up here up top in the actions. So if I run over to actions, you can see that there's some sort of pipeline running. And I think this usually takes under a minute, um, but basically you can go in and you can kind of read the logs, etc. So while that's running, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one final link so let's head over to firebase json here um, let's add one more and we'll add the tutorials so tutorials and that's going to take you directly to youtube tutorials so i'll add one final one tutorials and um, let's again uh, add this to to git add tutorials path and if i push this one last time and head over to the GitHub. You can see that that's, that's running. So we can give that a few seconds. And while we're doing that, I'm just gonna grab the uh, domain. So there we go, bring this over. And I'm just gonna enter here, tutorials, make sure that that's running absolutely fine. So actually, if we test this now, enter, it's gonna be page not found 404. We'll talk about that in a moment. And if we just uh, wait for this to finish, there we go, so that's finished in 52 seconds. If we jump over here and we're gonna do Firebase tutorials, I'm gonna keep this page uh, here for a second just to, to talk about the 404, but if we run over somewhere else and do a hard refresh there, there we go. So that's that's redirected, that's absolutely fine. Um, simple as that. The one last thing uh, I wanna talk about just before we, we wrap up this video is this page here. Right now, this is the default not found page, um, which is absolutely fine. But what you might want to do, for example, is update the 404, um, with you know, basically a standard index HTML page with all your links, or you can kind of get creative um, and do whatever you want here, so that you know if somebody you know types in the, the wrong link, it can still show them something something nice, or it can default and um, redirect it to, to somewhere that you that you want. And I think that's everything I want to cover for this video. So hopefully you can kind of see how simple that is to set up. Anytime you want to add a new path, just add a commit. There we go. Um, uh, the pipeline will, will kind of take it through. So thank you very much for watching. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.